We're all quarantined. We're all affected by the Rona. We're all... Not me, I go out every day. Social distance. You are? I go out every day. I go to the hospitals, make sure they're doing their jobs, and then I go the shake malls. hands with the cops. He makes out with all the patients to make sure that they're not infected. That's yeah. good, that's yeah. good. There's well, only one way to find out, right? his antibodies. Yeah. <laughs> he, he goes through the, uh, the, the stop signs, licks it, just to make sure it's clean. Yep. True, mm -hmm. true. So in fact, you are the healthiest person. Yeah, because I got all the diseases. You have tested yourself <laughs> yeah. by going into the battlefield. You vaccinated right? yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like that's why my immune system is stronger. Because you're Vietnamese? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I don't give a shit. Vietnamese people are strong though. They I'm never die. Like, they I heard it was like something about like, it, the most people that are Chinese. dying are like super deficient in like vitamin D. Yeah, a lot of people that die, they have yeah vitamin D deficiency. But I mean, people with weak immune systems have vitamin D deficiency. Look at my skin color. I got all this vitamin D. I am very chronically deficient in vitamin D. You are? Yeah, but I think it helps. I get a tan every now and then. I always try to go outside and run, but uh, it, I think it was because of my birth control, so that's why I got off birth control. Uh, a lot of people, I think, don't know that they're low on it because they're out in the sun. I wasn't even wearing sunscreen, like, which is bad, but like, I was getting a lot of sun, but chronically low. And wow. yeah, I think it was birth control. control. Yeah. That messes up your mood. Hormones and are crazy. Your immune system. Yeah, when I got off of it. You felt better? Uh, yeah. That's good. Bark control. Great for cream pies, horrible for the body. Well, we still cream pie. <laughs> well, that's good. We're just willing to accept the baby now. Yeah. <laughs> even in this time? That even in no, this not necessarily. That. Time? I just like I monitor it on an on an ovulation app. Yeah, so. we're like we're doing the reverse now. Yeah. We're like, oh, you're not ovulating yeah. or what? Or what? what it's, it's good. It's safe to have sex now when we have sex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Natural way. But yes, humans are affected by the Ronas, but not only humans. Animals are too. Really? And an aquarium in Japan. The dolphin got fucked up? No, no, no. Wait, no, no. the eels one? The eels one, yeah. You, and Nikki sent this one to me. Go wait, wait, wait. Eels got corona? No. Oh. But oh. the eels are being affected by the fact that no one is going to the aquarium. Oh. Leave their saddles? Oh. I guess they're so. They're getting scared. So they're getting all shy. All these eels are getting so shy. And so this aquarium in Japan uh, is in Tokyo. They are, they were asking people, volunteers, to call in and, and FaceTime. Come down? They're, no, to oh. FaceTime. FaceTime. Because they, they're not seeing any um, people go by. Oh. And so they're getting scared scared of humans and then it's making it hard for the staff to check on them and check on their health wow. because they're they're like hiding under the sand when humans walk by which they used to not. At least so, like the scared humans like Yeah, out. yeah. <laughs> 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 so they yeah, had people call in and FaceTime and they like are told to wave but not make noises. <laughs> and leave it to the Japanese people to like think of some cute ass shit to like help animals out and stuff. Well Japanese people had the the virtual uh, what's it called um graduation? But they have the robots with oh, the faces. Yeah. Oh yeah, that you was weird. So you could like actually go? It's like a bunch of iPads connected to like the, the robot that just has wheels on a stick. <laughs> and they kind of go in order with like the faces of each person on an <laughs> iPad that walks up. And I guess they get presented something and it goes around. Oh, that's tight. It's kind of weird though, cause it's like, what, they have like 10 of them, so do the faces switch out, Maybe. and then it goes back up again. But you get to, I guess, live out a graduation of some sort, yeah. ceremony. But yeah, this is what, this is what the, the eels look like. Oh, I've been there! You been you there? Have? Yeah! You could tell from this? Yeah, this I know that like aquarium. Sand. It's on a huge ass uh, skyscraper. But you saw like a second of them. Wait, <laughs> they look like, like diglets. Old. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. They're like fish. So they eels. burrow. They're yeah, so yeah. small. And they fucking get shy now. No, they're supposed oh, to be with the big more. ass electric ones. Yeah. <laughs> like Little Mermaid. Yeah, like There's a Mori eel. It's so cool because they, they look More like seaweed. Souls. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just they just eat stuff while they're there. Yeah, they got penguins there. That's a it's a pretty cool aquarium. Oh, is this the same aquarium where they let the penguins roam around because there's nobody there? Oh, I don't know Japan? about that, but there are like penguins like this big. Oh. And it and inside it looks like a, a cam girl's place because it's purple and lit all weird. Yeah. <laughs> I like how that's how you associate purple lighting. <laughs> purple lighting, you know, like a like a yeah, it's a it's a it's a stream, like a cam girl stream. There was an aquarium where they let the penguins go really? like visit the other exhibits and you can see the pictures of the penguins looking at the fish and like Cute. I wanna eat that motherfucker. Yeah. Trying to eat the fish. Yeah. Like, <laughs> one day. That's a pretty cool aquarium. No, it's right next to this thing called the Sky Tree, which is the tallest building in Tokyo, and it's like insanely high. What part of this high. video could you tell it was that? 
It was I a set of sand. Opening. No, no. The, the purple, purple, light. The purple lighting. Look, look. Is that right here? You stand up. The the way that it is is they have a bunch of aquariums in the middle like that. I'm set like, up. that's not just a tank. And then <laughs> yeah, it looks wall, like a pet store. You have like a, a lot of tanks like that just set up like this. And mm. on the walls, they have more. So you could go on every aisle like that. Oh. And that's one of them. And that oh, really, cool. it's so cool that we, if you see it once, you guys will remember. Cause you've, oh. I've never seen any aquarium that has. Yeah, it looks like just like a pet store. I mean, not yeah. many aquariums can remind you of cam girls either. So yeah. that's very that's memorable. True. But on the bottom floor, they got all these penguins that are like this big, and they just fucking jump around, and it's fucking so cool. Oh, I haven't been yeah, to yeah, an aquarium yeah. in a while. Yeah, I know, cause you don't support animal cruelty, but I do. <laughs> Is that animal cruelty, like uh, the aquarium? Get I think depends who you ask, okay. man. Wait, aquarium, like housing yeah. the fish? I think like the Long Beach one is okay, right? The aquarium of the Pacific. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, do fish even realize that they're in an aquarium? I don't know. Some of them got they're sea really, otters. They say goldfish memories are only 30 seconds. Oh, you ever look at someone's dumb. fish and you're like, that sucks. Some people do. <laughs> I do that. Really? I'm like, wow. That sucks. You're just here. Yeah, you're just That's here. <laughs> just going in circles and shit. Your life is just circles. It could be getting eaten by sharks. True. We're protecting them. True. But it's their, yeah. now it's their free choice too. That's true. true. They, chose they should choose. They should be able to choose Man, anything they want. It's much harder than being domesticated. I guarantee you that shit. Oh yeah. In nature, they're gonna be shot by poachers. They're gonna be eaten. It's better to be our entertainment. Don't you feel like that's what the government's doing to us now? They're like, you're safer here. I feel like a caged animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Keep me in this facade. <laughs> Give me your government programs. I need yes. it. They're like, stay alive. Take a Nintendo Switch. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen this lion fight this uh, water buffalo? What? So, so it's a lion that has, I forgot, like. Is this out in the wild or in a yeah, zoo? Out, or was uh, this Lion King? <laughs> no, this is a, no, this is out in the wild. I forgot what kind of disease it had, like shingles or something, but it had some sort of disease. So. The lion pack already kicked him out, ousted the lion. <laughs> So it was like the loser of the lion. Yeah, so this lion is out to defend itself and it finds like this buffalo. So it's like, I'm hungry, I'm gonna kill this buffalo. But the buffalo of course is like, I'm not gonna let you kill me. So they get into a fight and the, the lion gets like horned a couple times. And there's just so much uh, trauma that happens on both ends, they both die. Whoa. That's nature. That's Cause people don't realize like lions, they actually hunt in packs. Cause if it is one on one, oh, a lot yeah. of these herbivores are so fucking jacked and big, they yeah. can kill. They just don't have the instinct to kill, but they can kill like a predator. See, you so, can get yoked on a plant-based diet. These two guys, they kill each other and then they're just now laying out and then that's what nature is. Yeah. Cause people, they think predators are predators or they they think like prey or prey, it's, it's not that simple. That's why like when you have a live, isn't like when you have a pet snake, like you're not really supposed to put a live mouse in there because- They gotta attack it. Yeah, they can scratch yeah. the face yeah. up. Freeze it or something so it gets like all slow. Some people yeah. just grab the tail and just smack it on the floor. Uh, uh, yeah, well, we had we had a pet snake for a little bit, mm -hmm. and that's what we did. We uh, well, the the pet store we buy the the feeder rats, yeah. so they're meant to die. Like Don't feeder care. rats are so, they're I weak in immune, immune system and all that shit, so they're not strong. Some of them got like a weird tumor too. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. yeah. So then, yeah, they give you it, give it to you in like a paper bag, and then once you have that paper bag and you get home, you, I, I just smack that's it on so the ground. Sad. <laughs> How come it doesn't chew through the paper bag and run away? Maybe it's not smart enough. It's a feeder rat, so it sucks. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a feeder rat. Yeah, it's yeah. a feeder rats have feelings to too. They do. They do. There's a more humane way to put them down too. They're supposed to like be a little more hands-on and like twist the neck or like snap something in like the neck area. Damn. But I didn't ever want to touch it in person. <laughs> so I'm like, you never wanted to put it in like a, a race car and then have it go in a car crash and paralyze it, <laughs> <laughs> paralyze the rat and. Uh, <laughs> Like an RC car? <laughs> like a toy car? Yeah. <laughs> like, like fucking Stuart Little? Yeah. Two, two are like RC cars go BAM! And it oh. dies in a car crash? Ah, oh, poor rats. They died in a car crash. Save them. Ooh. Oh God. You know what's weird? I could all day grab a fish, no feelings, boom, hit him with the hammer, cut it up, clean it, whatever. I still feel bad but when it comes to mammals, like furry creatures, yeah. I didn't grow up doing that shit. So it's you can't kind cuddle of with weird. them. You can't cuddle with yeah. a fish. There's no like <laughs> attachment. I mean, you can try. It's true, and they have sure. no. They well, have we'll just die if you try cuddling with it anyway. Yeah, whether or not it's scared, true. it kind of looks the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like. 
That's You're the part of me. Like, I don't care about you. You know, you can't say. That's the part of me that makes me think I'm a psychopath sometimes. Because sometimes I'll be like hugging a dog. I'm like, oh, I love you so furry. And I'm like, man, but if you bite me, I'll just stab you in the stomach. <laughs> I, have no, I have no hesitation. Damn. Yeah. It's funny because I know those thoughts. You know those thoughts, right? Yeah, but it's it's weird because you know other people don't think that way. <laughs> nah. But also, it's just a curiosity, I think, more than um, yeah. anything. It's not like I'm looking forward to my dog turning on me. So there's some, no, but there's a natural instinct that you have to, uh, things that are cute to hurt. Oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about no. it's cute mode, what? and then I'm gonna stab the fuck out of yeah. you mode, yeah. but at the same time. Yep. Who has a natural instinct to hurt cute things? It was something about like why? Like why do you feel? Yeah, cubes. why do you want to squeeze and yeah. do certain? Oh, things? like when you when you hold the baby, you're like I just want to squeeze. Yeah. Oh, okay. True. I don't want to hurt him either. Dude, my cats almost scratched my eyeball out one time, and I still was like, I hate that. Come here. <laughs> you yeah. didn't mean it. You didn't uh, mean it. That's why I do my dog. Because I feel like if I go hunting, I'll dread. I'll be. You know, I'll do it while I'm like dying inside, but uh, my one side is like, I need to learn how to do this because I'm so curious. And the other side's like, Yeah. <laughs> and I want to see what it tastes like, and I want to learn how to do this if I'm trapped in the wild, right? Do you think hunting is more humane than having them grow up on a farm yeah. being treated bad? I don't know about the moral aspect of it, but I'm thinking more of like the natural side. Like, imagine eating meat that was naturally like. Raise versus like a cow that's corn fed. Yeah. So that's kind of where my mind is at and I'm trying to it, There's so many things going on, right? So like my curiosity is there. What does like a, a, a wild-caught animal taste like and also how do I learn the skill like what most humans used to know for thousands of years is how to dress uh, proper wild game and all that stuff and that's that side, but as that's being filled, like fulfilled, and I'm learning it, I'm hurting inside because I'm like, this is Bambi and it's cute. Mm -hmm. But the yeah. other side is like, I'm kind of happy I'm doing this too. So it's conflicting. Looks well, like you're learning survival skills. I also just think like people that shoot animals to eat them, that's like a different thing than just just to have the head. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, I don't want to be. I don't want to waste it. I mean, why would you waste good meat? Yeah. So my, I guess my curious. Curiosity is there, but then the other side is like, I can eat beans and survive too. I know a lot of bow hunters, um, so they aim for the heart to put it down ASAP because they're, they're they're actually thinking in the humane way. And if they miss and if they have to take another shot, they actually feel really bad. And they have to bleed out for a while that way. Right? Yeah, they feel really and bad because they have to hike for two miles too. <laughs> exactly. 